Hello, welcome to video two of the equations and uh, an equations topic. This is equations with fractions, which is where the equation stuff that you know from that four really gets pushed into national five. Okay, it's very, very tricky. These ones are not very tricky, but they are tr much trickier. Okay, so example one, same script as last time. I'm just going to give you four or five examples. If you maybe give them a try, copy them down in your notes, and I'll talk you through each one now. Really, the difference between these equations and the one that you've seen before uh, is the fractions. So what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of the fractions, and we're just going to take it right the way back. So here we're dealing with quarters. We've got two different fractions, both quarters, and we know that quarter really means divide by four. So what we're going to do to get rid of these fractions, we're going to multiply everything by four. So every individual thing gets multiplied by four. So this one here gets multiplied by four. If you multiply a quarter by four, that just becomes one. So that will be one x. Next one, you multiply the next individual thing by four. So three quarters multiplied by four. The times and the divide will just cancel out, and you'll be left with plus three. And then six times four is just twenty-four. So that one getting multiplied by four as well. So after you've got the fractions, it goes right the way back to national four equations, and it's dead easy. We subtract three, we subtract three, and x is twenty-one. Oh, I've got a pen up and down there. But x equals twenty-one. Okay, so you see, as soon as you get rid of the fractions, everything else you're dealing with is nice and easy. It's national four equations. It's just that first step that's tricky. Now, there's example two. Now, again, we're making this a bit trickier. No, we're not just getting rid of one type of fraction anymore. We're not just getting rid of quarters. We're getting rid of halves and fifths as well, which becomes a little bit trickier, but really not very much. Now, the trick here is you need to multiply by the lowest common multiple. Okay, you need to multiply by the lowest common multiple, which in this case of 2 and 5, the smallest number that both of them go into is 10. So we're going to multiply every individual thing by 10. So that one there, half of 10 is 5, so half of 10x is going to be 5x. Okay, same there, next one, we've got 2 fifths. So 2 fifths of 10 is 4, so that's minus 4. Next one, half of 10 is 5. And next one, 3 fifths of 10 is 6, so it's minus 6x. So you end it, every individual thing is multiplied by 10, and by doing that, you make a much simpler equation. Okay, so next we need to add 4 there, and add 4 there, just so I'm adding to the numbers. I need to add 6x, and you add 6x. And when I simplify that, that's 11x, 0, 0, eh, no, sorry, that's 9 there. So 11x equals 9. Divide by 9, divide by 9. What am I talking about? It's absolutely not divide by 9. I'm sure you all spotted that. Divide by 11 to get rid of the times by 11. So x is equal to 9 11 Okay, and there you go. So same again, get rid of the fractions, everything becomes easy. Right, example 3, same again, a little bit of a sneaky one in here, uh, because there's a bracket. And now we're looking to multiply by the lowest common multiple of 3 and 4, so we're going to multiply by 12. Okay, that's the smallest number that both of them go into. So every individual thing gets multiplied by 12, so that one there. Okay, so 12x. Nice and easy. Next one, two thirds gets multiplied by twelve. So two thirds of twelve is eight. Oh, what am I doing? Minus eight. And then the trick here is in that last bit. That whole thing is one thing. You've got a quarter multiplied by x plus five, so the whole thing is one. So you need to multiply all of that by twelve. And to do that, we're just going to look at the quarter in front. Okay, because if we do a quarter times twelve then that's you multiplying the whole thing by 12, because the whole thing's going to get 12 times bigger. So a quarter of 12 is 3, so that's going to be 3, and then the bracket's just going to stay the same. Now I'm going to imagine that's the place where you're going to get practice in class. Lots of questions like these over the double period, or maybe three periods. Okay, because that's where really the tricky thing is in this, uh, this topic. But from there, Okay, we know exactly how to solve these. We're going to break the brackets first. So 12x minus 8 is equal to 3x plus 15. 
and then you're going to put in minus 3x, minus 3x, add 8, add 8. So that gives me 9x equals 23. Divide by 9, divide by 9, x equals 2349. Okay, same again as that first step. It's all in the first step. After that, you know exactly what you're doing. This one here, okay. We've got brackets, we know how to deal with them. Oh, we've got a little bit trickier because we've got three different uh, things here. But same again, we're just looking for the lowest common multiple. So the smallest number of three, four, and six all go into. We all went to 12 again, so that's nice. If you're struggling, you can multiply them together, but particularly in this case, it's going to give you a massive number. It'll still give you the right answer, it's just going to give you a more complicated thing to work with. Uh, okay, so multiply every individual thing by 12. So firstly, that bracket is one thing. So we need to multiply that by 12. So 5 sixths of 12 is 10. The bracket's going to stay the same because I've already multiplied it by multiplying the coefficient at the front. Up to 12 is 4, so that's plus 4. I've got our equals next, and then... 3 quarters of x, we multiply that by 12, 3 quarters of 12 is 9x. Okay, multiply our bracket. 10x minus 10 plus 4 is equal to 9x. Tied up that minus 10 plus 4 will give me 10x minus 6 equals 9x. Okay, got a couple of wee things to go on here. Firstly, the 6 has to get away from that x there. So plus 6 to both sides, there's no numbers on the right hand side, so it'll just become 6. And I need to take away 9x from both sides as well to get my x's together. Uh, so that 10x minus 9x gives me x minus 6 plus 6 equals 0. Then we've got our equals. 9x minus 9x gets knocked out and then 6 is just left at the end after you get 6. There you go. Do you want me to say it again? I oh, will. After you've got the first one done, it's perfect, it's easy. Next one coming up looks slightly different. For some reason, I'm really loving multiplying by 12 in all my examples. Uh, looks a little bit different there, though, just because we're taking the whole things as fractions. So rather than in here having a quarter, we've got x minus 3 over 4. Okay, but again, we want to get rid of the fractions. To get rid of quarters and thirds, we need to multiply by 12. So firstly, we're going to multiply this thing here by 12 now. That is a quarter. It's the same way here as if you took that out and wrote it as a quarter of x minus 3. Okay, a quarter times 12 is 3, so it's just going to be the whole thing multiplied by 3. So 3 bracket x minus 3. Similarly, in here, that's the same as a third of x. A third of 12 is 4, so it's plus 4x equals... If we multiply it by that, we've got a 2 and we've got a 3, so we've got a 2 thirds up there. It's wrapped up in the fraction, but it just means 2 thirds. So 2 thirds of 12 is 8. So on 8, 8, and then x minus 5. Okay, from there, very easy. 3x minus 9, plus 4x, equals 8x minus 40. So that's going to be 7x minus 9 equals 8x minus 40. Let's uh, subtract 8x from both sides. Add 9 to both sides. So negative x is equal to negative 31. Divide it by negative 1 to get rid of the negatives. And x is equal to 31. Okay, now that's me. It's oh, quite a long one uh, in this video. There's some examples to try, same again, if you want to pause, I'll put the answers up in a wee second. They are going to be a little bit trickier. You might want to be taking some of these answers and these questions into your teacher to ask for help. But if you pause it now, I'll put the answers up in a wee second. There you go, thanks very much.